Hi there everybody, my name is Katie Barlow and I'm a liaison officer at Lincoln University. Joining me today is Sylvia Nissen, who is a lecturer from the Department of Environmental Management to tell us about two degrees, the Bachelor of Environmental Management and the Bachelor of Environmental Policy and Planning at Lincoln University. But before we get started, Sylvia, please take a minute to introduce yourself and tell us about what you really enjoy about your subject area and your role at Lincoln. Yeah, kia ora, I'm Sylvia Nitsen, and so yeah, like Katie said, I'm a lecturer in the Department of Environmental Management. I teach in the area of um, environmental policy, so my training is in political science. Um, so, um, and what I really love about my job is basically working with students who are passionate about environmental issues and really want to understand how we can go about addressing them. Great. So, before uh, let's take a little bit of a closer look at both the degrees, so the Bachelor of Environmental Management and Policy and Planning. What can students expect to learn about? Oh, a whole range of topics. What's really special about both these degrees is that they're really interdisciplinary. So what that means in basic terms is you just cover a whole range of subjects. So you do some physical science, um, so a bit of ecology, for example, or soil science, but you also do a lot of different social sciences. Um, so whether that's some policy, some planning, some sociology, psychology, um, Māori studies, economics, law, management, um, and really the breadth of what you cover is, is why these degrees are so valuable, um, because we need that breadth of knowledge to deal with the big environmental issues our planet's facing. Absolutely, and I really like the fact that they're so interdisciplinary. So could you just let me know, what is the difference between the Bachelor of Environmental Management and the Bachelor of Environmental Policy and Planning? Yeah, so the most obvious difference is the number of years involved. So the BEPP, the Bachelor of Environmental Policy and Planning, is four years, whereas the Bachelor of Environmental Management, the BEM, is uh, three years. So that's kind of the most striking difference. Um, but also the other big difference is, is in terms of the amount of um, flexibility the degree um, has. So the BEPP, the Policy and Planning degree, is um, much more prescribed. And that's because it's an accredited degree. Um, so it's accredited by the um, New Zealand Planning Institute. And, uh, and so they have quite a um, clear set of, of what's required of our students um, who go on to to work in the policy and planning space. Whereas the Bachelor of Environmental Management, which is a three year degree, allows a lot more flexibility. And so there's um, pros and cons of both, of course, and it really depends on what works for students. And so that's where we just say, come in and have a chat to us about, about what's, and, and we can work through what's gonna work best for you. It's also worth noting just quickly um, that often students can move between both degrees. So um, just bear that in mind, what you, choose up front doesn't necessarily mean um, you can't move between them if, if you change your mind along the track. Interesting, so what are classes like and is there any practical work involved? Yeah, so there's, there's a real range of classes, just like there's a real range of stuff you do in the workplace. So some of them, some of the learning is lecture based and now <laughs> often online. Um, but there's also a lot of our classes have field work, which is really, yeah, where you you do get your hands dirty and you find out these, these issues in practice. Um, and also a lot of, certainly towards further, the further through you go in your degree, there's a lot more discussion-based group work um, and a lot more small classes, which is really valuable because we can have a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with students um, and means you, you form some really good friendships as well with, with your cohort. Sounds really good. And we all know it's all about meeting the people. So. Mm. Let's say I graduate with this qualification. What kinds of careers could I get into and is there a demand in the workforce? Yeah, there's definitely a demand. I mean, a um, huge amount of environmental challenges um, and we're finding a lot of our students are getting snapped up into jobs really quickly after graduation, um, especially in the planning space at the moment. There's a real shortage of planners. Um, the there's a whole range of jobs that students go out to, so a lot go into local government or central government, um, and many also go into industry, so into or into consulting roles. So there's a real range, and we're also seeing some students um, going working for NGOs. So um, again, it's uh, the breadth of the degree is kind of sh showcased also in where students end up, but there is a huge amount of de demand for environmental people with, with this type of um, interdisciplinary environmental knowledge. So lastly, 
do you have any subject advice for students looking to best prepare for the courses at university? Not particularly, actually, because, like I said, it's such an interdisciplinary degree. So some of the students that we um, have come to us from quite a physical science background, so they've taken, say, biology and chemistry, maybe physics, and that's fantastic. But some of the students also come from a much more social science-based background, so they might have taken geography or history or English in high school. Um, and um, really, you can, you can have done any of those backgrounds, and I would say just do what you're passionate in. Um, that's probably above all what we need is, is students who are passionate about environmental issues. And this is what that degree, this degree, both these degrees are all about. Absolutely. And thank you for joining us today, Sylvia. Cheers. If Happy have, to chat. <laughs> if you have any questions or you would like further information, just ask your careers advisors to put you in touch with your Lincoln liaison officer. Bye for now. See you next time.